So, Creed is on the way, and this is My Own Prison, which is their debut. I think Creed was around since the mid-90s, let's say 95, 96 or so. They dropped an album in 97, and this actually went multi-platinum. It's not as widespread as Human Clay, but I don't think six times platinum is any complaint from most people. So understand that this album was heard, I think, well into the 2000s decade. And I want to say, I don't know enough about post-grunge and that kind of more alternative metal type stuff. But I do know, for as much as I've heard this, I, I think that this may have been like a shapeshifter that kind of people saw as a... you know, something to kind of wonder if I should make similar to. It's hard to explain. I'm not saying that this was the inspiration, but I do think, hey, this guy, you know, this group, this band is all over the charts. Maybe I'll make a song or two that's similar to it. And I feel like, you know, albums like that have come around in rap. And I think as far as rock is concerned that this one, you got to really notice it. Now, if you want, like, the most commercial and well-known album just go to their 1999 album human clay and this one you'd think it's a little bit more raw a little bit less they had more ability to decide what they wanted to do that's the thing is i don't know how much of this music was really going on and popular in 97 98 but it worked. So that's the main thing. Creed and the entire band, I don't know their names. And I don't have the internet right now, but this sort of stuff really nailed it. So whether or not you can smoke this, I think the answer is yes. So it's 10 songs, and some of those that are really good are Illusion, Unforgiven, and Ode. Those are like the gnarliest songs, and... Well, we'll just get into more. The production, the problem with it is, is you know, as it feels like post-grunge, the thing about it is, is a lot of this music feels more for what happens when you're changing. Like, supposing that you're giving up something in life that you used to think you didn't want to do anymore, this is like perfect music for you to embrace a new lifestyle that you want to accomplish. And in a lot of senses, depending upon what you want, you have to question as to whether or not what you were doing was bad. I'm not saying you shouldn't change, but understand that this music is really similar to looking ahead. That's just the best vision I can think for it as it looks ahead. Half the songs that I'm not going to choose kind of do that. There's also some good moments in here. I mean, I really like Torn, and I also really like My Own Prison, because those were rock songs that were mellow, but I wasn't concerned them to whether or not they got the energy down. Which, as I continue to listen to rock music, I'm thinking this is a huge plus, because it's going to get to the point where I can listen to a rock album, and I don't have to be excited. So for me, this was a, a good moment, and depending upon who you are, you may like some of the more mellow songs. But just understand that you can just tell by the, the production, the way that the band is on those songs, that just a little bit more happy-go-lucky. But, okay, so the unheard songs, which are songs that you may not have heard that you need to listen to, I'm going to say... There's five. Five out of ten. So that's about half the album. Let's talk about them. Now, there were about three or four songs released to radio. And so that should add to it in addition to the songs I chose. But they are Unforgiven, Illusion, My Own Prison, Ode, and Torn. Now, Ode, Illusion, Unforgiven, these are the metal-sounding songs. The ones that you'd kind of expect from Metallica and Korn and that sort of stuff. I really enjoy these. This is a good moment. 
and it allows me to, you know, let my head wander because it it just gives off a great feel. This is the kind of songs that you want to hear them perform because they are the most magnetic when it comes to how you're going to feel. And naturally, Creed didn't want to just be known for that. So there are a couple ones. These really have like those really kind of drawn out guitar sounds. And you've probably heard this numerous times. And those songs are My Own Prison and Torn. I don't know how to describe the production, but it just sounds kind of mellow, real mellow type stuff. Laziness, just like, you know, it's just lazy. And, you know, these are good songs. I really kind of feel like you'll probably enjoy them, but they add meat to the album because it's not just, you know, when you're tired of doing this, you've also got some more stuff to listen to. Now, obviously, there are radio songs released, and there is a bit more, but this it, it's not necessarily as much metal. I know that there's a lot of metal-sounding stuff in the chorus, but that's not the only place I want it. So, you just have to keep that in mind. It's not, you know, obviously, Human Clay is more magnetic, but I do think that there's enough songs. That, so, this should pretty much... You know, gel pretty good with and with numerous people. It's not the Creed album I would start with, but it's got song. Yeah, it's just diverse. So the score, I'm gonna give it a five and a half out of ten because I really enjoyed those five songs, and I want to give it a little bit higher score than just a half. But you know, still the songs I didn't like is still of note. So. Future Creed broke up, but I am going to review their 2009 album and more. So stay tuned for that. And the social score, I will give it a six and a half social just because there were songs heard. And, you know, I think a lot of people probably remember this album. So keep that in mind. And can it be top? Yes. So. You know, my biggest complaint is that it, it doesn't, it's not electric, it's not electrifying enough. So other than that, I think you'll probably like it. Subscribe for more fun.